In this video, we're going to look at Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager. Now, I've done a whole series on this, which I covered in June 2020, and there were 30 different posts and videos that I covered. One of the things that I've seen questions about and that I've been asked a couple of times is, well, how do you put Google Tag Manager into a Dynamics portal? So here we're looking at a standard portal that's um, been set up and it's out of the box pretty much. And we've got the landing page. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk all the way through is if you've never got never set up Google Analytics or Google Tag Manager. So we're going to actually look at everything in one short video. So I'm going to go to analytics and I'm going to go through the setup process. So I do actually have a Google Analytics tied to this specific account that I'm logged in with, but you do have to have a Google account in order to be able to use analytics. So I'm going to give this a new account name. So let's just call this uh, Dynamics Portal. Um, and then it's going to go through stuff about um, sharing details, sharing information. So that's up to you to read through. I'm just going to go with the recommended suggestions. So we're going to measure web. We're going to measure a website. That's essentially what our portal is. It is a website. So we're going to leave it on that setting and go to next. And then again, we're going to say, well, what's the name of the website? Your account can be something that you then actually store multiple properties underneath. So you could have your um, ABC company account with two or three different websites. So that's why it's asking for the website. I'm going to just call it the same thing again, Dynamics Portal. And then what I need is the URL for the site. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and then paste it in here. And that is HTTPS. So we need to change that. And then what's the reporting time zone? So for me, that is the United Kingdom. And we'll go ahead and create it. And then again, we've got some things that we need to agree to. And this is our uh, terms of service agreement. Let's go ahead and accept those. All right, so now what it's going to give us is it's going to give us some tracking code. Now, I could take this tracking code and I could put it directly into the portal, and that's fine. I'm tracking it using Google Analytics. However, if you go back through, and I'll have some links in the description for this video below, but if you go back through and watch or read specific articles from my Google, Google Analytics series, you'll know that using Google Tag Manager will open up um, possibilities to make it a lot easier for tracking things. So it may be that you only ever put the tracking code for Google Analytics into your portal. That's great. But if you're using Google Tag Manager, it means you've opened up the option to um, track other things and you don't have to keep on going back and putting code into your analytics. So all that we will end up needing is this tracking ID here we won't actually be putting this global site tag tracking code into our portal. So now what we're going to do is we're going to jump over into Google Tag Manager and get that set up. OK, so in Google Tag Manager, now we're going to be setting up an account and I'm just going to call it the same thing just so that for reference, I know what it is. All right, so we've got the um, the country. And then again, this is similar to where you've got your different properties within your Google Analytics account. This is similar. We basically have different containers. So your account you can set up and then you could have for ABC company, you can have multiple containers. So essentially multiple Google Tag Manager um, uh, sections that you're using for different websites. So I'm just going to call this Dynamics Portal again. And again, this is the target of a website. And we're going to go ahead and create this. And then again, we are agreeing to terms and conditions. Let's just close that. All right, so that is saving. And now we have this set up. So here is where we're then getting the code that we're actually going to go ahead and put into our portal. So we can see here that we have two sets of code. So we've got the top code that says paste this code as high in the head of the page as possible. And then we have the bottom code that says additionally paste this code immediately after the opening body tag. Now in the portal, let's go ahead and see where we're going to put this. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this to my clipboard and I'm going to go into 
Dynamic 365 into the Portals app and I am going to look at the Web Template section. What I want is the Header Template. Now, this is showing you how that you can get this code in here. This is entirely up to you to determine um, if this is right for your implementation. Most likely in terms of if you're just using sort of the out of the box, then this will be fine. So check with whoever's done the customization of your web um, portal as to if this will work for you. Now, the first code, it says you want to put as high as possible into the header. So I'm going to go ahead and paste this in here so we can see there is our code for the top section of Google Tag Manager. Now, the next thing is a little bit um, tricky or maybe a, not necessarily tricky because it's easy where we're going to place it. But in terms of you're looking and saying, OK, well, we need this immediately after the opening body tag. Um, we it, the portals are not the same as a standard website where you're able to look and say, OK, here's the start of the body tag. Here's the close of the body tag and so on. But what we can do is I can take that and I can go to the bottom of the header and I can paste it right at the the bottom of that and add it in there and that will work so we're not able to necessarily see where the opening of the body is but we can go ahead and paste it there and like I said it will work and it will allow us to track so I'm going to go ahead and save and close that and then I'm going to go ahead and click OK now all we've done at the moment is we've just gone ahead and added that Google Tag Manager code um, so that's all we're doing right now. We haven't actually tied it to our analytics account. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to set up Google Analytics into Google Tag Manager. So the first thing we're going to do is add a new variable. So we're going to be configuring this variable and adding in our Google Analytics tracking ID. So we want to use a defined variable. So we'll go ahead and click on new. Um, and then we will go ahead and if we scroll down, we'll see there's the Google Analytics um, setting. And that's the one that we want to be able to add in our Google Analytics tracking ID. So if I go back to Google Analytics, we now need this tracking ID and we're going to go ahead and paste it in here. So let's go ahead and save it. So we're just going to call this Google Analytics ID and we go ahead and save that. All right, so there we can see our user defined variable. So now what we need to do is we need to add a new tag and we'll click on new and we are going to select the tag um, type of Google Analytics Universal Analytics. That's the one that we want. All right, the track type is page view. And now what we need to do is we need to set the Google Analytics setting as that ID variable that we just added. So that's what we, we are linking it to. Um, so let's go ahead and we selected that. And then let's go ahead and now the triggering for that is going to be on all pages. So for Google Analytics, we want to track every single page that somebody goes to. There, are, there aren't any exceptions for the Google Analytics tracking code. So we're going to go ahead and click save and we can leave it or rename the tag, whatever we want to call it. So we'll just go ahead and save that. So now let's go ahead and submit those changes. Um, we can call this whatever we want. We can put in whatever we want for the description. Um, if you're the only one that has access to Google Tag Manager, then this is really just for your records. But if you're using and sharing this account with multiple people, it's best to be as descriptive as you can. So I'm going to put Google Analytics and added the GA tracking co um, ID and set the tag for this to work on all pages of the portal. And let's go ahead and publish that. All right, so next what we're going to do is if I go back to my um, workspace and I'm going to set this in preview mode. Now, when you put this in preview mode, um, what this will um, let you do is when you then go to back to the portal, if I go ahead and refresh it. So if we look at the preview mode. What we can see there that it shows that when we refresh that, the tag that fired was the Google Analytics Universal Analytics tag that we just created. 
So we can see there that that is then working. Now, if we go into Google Analytics, let's go to the home. What we can see is that we have one active user. So I know that now this is tracking. So if I then go to, let's go to the sign in page. And let's see, and there we go. Now we can see that we're on the sign in page. So I know that my visits, that is now what is being tracked in, in Google Analytics. So I hope this helps. It's certainly something um, that I would recommend adding onto your portals. Uh, just to be able to see which pages are more popular or that people are actually navigating to. Um, it really depends on what you're using your portal for. If all you have is people signing in and going to their cases to submit support tickets, that's probably not really needed, um, although it will tell you how many people or the number of visitors that are actually going to that. So if you're just launching your portal and you're really trying to get people to actually use it, you'll know what sort of uptake you have. If you only have five people logging in a month, your portal's not really very successful. Uh, so it's a, it's a good idea to add so that you can then come in and then use Google Analytics and really analyze the visits to your portal site. So hope that was helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.